Billions of years of evolutionary advancement. And then we have Cassie. Happy day, I am glad! Today we are re-immersing ourselves in the wonderful adventure that is Life is Strange, and I'm excited to see what happens because the end of the last episode was very unsettling. This is episode four now. Previously this is a on recap is on what's been happening, just in Whoa. case you forgot. I can tell time, or I can see through time and transport myself through time. Nathan's an asshole who drugs and Don't assaults people again, and tried to shoot Chloe. I really need to find evidence against him. I had a sentimental little bus ride. Oh, it was just one of the greatest, most peaceful moments. I proved to Chloe that I have Let's these powers and she is now my partner in crime. And we kissed. I saved Kate. And apparently a lot of people Stop. have not been able to do this. So Don't I'm very proud of myself for being able to save Kate. Cause like I said before, if I didn't save I Kate, it would have been, been a mess. <laughs> um, Mr. Jefferson, Please. I'm not sure about Tell him. I used to have a crush on him, but I don't know, he's a little weird. A little weird. Hey, Frank, Louise. this guy Rachel, who steals Rachel, our gun, he has our gun. Oh, That's not a good thing. We broke into his trailer, can't. took That's evidence, to and I forgot Rachel to hide see. all of the evidence like that we were said, there. So that this could be bloody. <laughs> um, we broke into the principal's Let's office and got some evidence because I really want to prove that Kate check out these wasn't responsible for Rachel, this viral Rachel, sexual Rachel, video in which she got wasted and make out with all these people. She's a very nice religious girl, so... Let's let's try to prove I that point. Of Rachel, and uh, I I still don't really know much about Rachel other than she was banging Morgan. Frank, which kind of pushed Chloe over the edge. Frank. Rachel yeah. straight up lied She's to my mad. face. Why didn't she say anything? So who do you Sorry, most Chloe. want to blame? She can bang my who she wants. Dad, of course. <laughs> Hello. And Chloe gets no, mad no. at her dad for dying, so I decide to go back through time and like save her dad from dying. But the consequences aren't as good as I hope. Chloe, I am. Awesome. So we'll see. We are awesome. We're awesome. Yay. Hello. Are you even When I save um, Chloe's totally dad, it's like this oh, utopia and we're all friends and Nathan changed? and me are friends. Me and Victoria are friends. Max, I get to see her dad who is still alive because I changed time. Chloe, I hid his keys in a cereal you have box. A visitor. But when you go see Chloe, the results, yeah, there's no blue hair and no tattoos, but there's a lot of other changes. She seems happier, but uh, I don't know if I can commit to that. Square Enix game. Did you guys ever play Final Fantasy X? That's like uh, one of my favorite games of all time. It's kind of like a big movie, just like this game, but it takes a lot of work to progress. You gotta fight a lot of monsters. And it gets a little monotonous at times, but the story's really good. So, I guess we- oh, there's dead whales everywhere. Um, the world appears to end. Since this is day four, we only have like two more days to save the entire world. So, hopefully we can do that. Or maybe not the entire world, just the entire Oregon. Which still matters. It's still people. And I'm very afraid of tornadoes, so... Gotta prevent that from happening. That's a lot of whales. Episode four, Dark Room. I wonder if I'm going to commit to leaving Chloe in her alive dad state. Yeah, there's me and Chloe. See, this is what happened to her. Um, she's a paraplegic somehow, and she needs a thing to hold her head up. And she was so mad about, like, her life and saying, oh, my life is shit. Hanging out with you again. I know. But you gotta, I'm glad you never know what could have happened in an alternate universe. It was nice that you sent me actual letters. Yeah, I sent her it's letters this time. I didn't even and call her in the alternate universe. Paper. So Max, so mm. pretentious. Parchment paper. I love We're hipsters writing, here in like Oregon. An English poet. You deserve the best stationery. She appears to be there mentally. That's good. Probably easier to write than to visit me. Oh, she's still kind of complaining. That in a bitchy way. Oh, Not she took totally. it back. You probably wanted to avoid awkward conversations like this. Don't say that, Chloe. We're uh, best friends. Pretty much. Yeah. Hmm. Look, the worst thing you can do is treat me like a baby. Yeah. I still want to laugh and talk shit with my best friend. Mm. Can we stop? What happened? This is seriously the best view of the sunset. What do photographers call She that? enjoys the little things, the golden which is hour. nice. See? Without you here, I'd have no clue. Bet you could take some amazing shots. Yeah, you could. National Those Geographic, that. so sad. I kind of know how they feel. Hmm. At least, I'm alive here with you. That's that's a lot more optimistic than what she was saying in the last episode when this wasn't her You're reality. You're a real survivor, Chloe. 
Yeah. I know you have to deal with so much. I don't Look want at my cute little butt. Sorry for me. I can do that. Along with my parents. My dad still feels <gasps> Chloe, you're damned if you do, and you're damned if you don't. Let's talk about the accident. Are you okay to talk about the accident? What happened? You never actually have, huh? There's not much to say. Some prick in an mm. SUV cut me off and I flew into a ditch. Oh. Do you remember everything? I saw everything in bullet time. I felt my back snap and... And mm. that was the last thing I ever felt in my body. <gasps> when I woke up in the hospital, I literally couldn't move a muscle. Jesus. That's awful. I, I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. I'm just happy I did get to see you again. Is she going to be able to escape from the storm in that blue, like wheelchair? I mean, yeah, right? What missing girl? Is Rachel still missing in this world? What, what missing girl? I don't know her name. I, I don't know her name? In the news. I feel bad for Rachel her was her best friend. This is such a different world than when we were kids, isn't it? After that snow and eclipse, it's more like the end of the world. Oh, okay, so the world is still ending. I don't know if I want to commit to this. I don't know if I have a choice. Don't say that. Don't Be optimistic. I'm not trying to bum you out. It just seems like Arcadia Bay is having a meltdown. Mm. I know things seem out of control. I want to fight this meltdown with you. As long as we're together, I don't feel afraid. Hanging out with you makes me feel like a total kid again. You don't even know. Listen... Chloe, I'm sorry I haven't been out to see you more. I was wrong. Well, you're only you're 18, Max. Friend. You don't really have that much mobility. Max, thanks for coming out to see me. You're, you're doing awesome. I don't Aww. think so. Um, my, my nose is getting cold. Maybe we should get back to my place? It is hella cold out here. Hella? I hate that word, no offense. She always says hella. Okay. Well, she still seems kind of sad in, in this situation, too. I was hoping that she would at least be happy, but it seems like it's a double negative, like both worlds, you know? Chloe will always be sad. She was destined to be sad. That's sad. It's a nice view, though. Nice lighthouse. Nice whales. Their house looks a lot less dilapidated with the father around, which is nice. And also her step ass, pretty like the security guard is driving a bus in this world. But I am lucky my mm, she has a faith picture to take care of me. I know it's hard for them. They're grateful you are here with them. Oh, Sometimes Chloe. I act like a total teenage brat just to give them an excuse to yell at me. Pathetic, mm. I know. Chloe. Oh, she just wants to feel normal. You're a great daughter. You're kind and sensitive when you don't even have to be. Trust me, I still get my rage on. Especially when a nurse has to watch while I take a dump so she can wipe my bum. Or when doctors flip me around like I was a science doll. I can't even imagine. Uh, neither can I. But you're still amazing. You always have been since we were kids. Thanks again for coming, Max. I, uh, <clears throat> need to get my drink on. Your drink? What are you drinking? Uh, can oh, water. Can okay. Some water? That's good. Let's get Chloe her what the... There's her wheelchair. Snow globes. Can I look at these? Snow globes are taking over. Hmm. Nice. Um, what about this? Oh, the snow dough. The snow dough. It's my spirit I animal. Guess not everything changed. Ah, her teddy bear. Hello, Chloe. <laughs> she likes fluffy animals now. Yeah, this room is a lot less hardcore than her... Teenage angst tattoo crazy room, which is quite cool, by the way. She still got her Converse shoes there. What's this? Let's look That's at this. A serious heat lamp. That's a heat lamp. Mmm. Window. Does Chloe look at the garden and think about her childhood? She can't even feel the grass now. Ah, oh, so many things that that we take for granted, you know. I'm glad What's I took this? this photo. Ah! Chloe has a new memory of William and her together. Nice. Let's go to the bathroom. Man, Joyce and William built a whole new bathroom for Chloe. They're so great. I had to sneeze, but it never came. Okay. 
Oh, I should makeup. offer to put makeup on for Chloe. Not that I can, but it would be fun. No, it's actually not fun to get a makeover from somebody who doesn't know how to do makeup. I'll pass. There's the old Chloe. Yeah. Studs. That is so incredible. And she can browse cat videos on the web. Ooh, let's use it. Chloe is still a punk at heart. But she can't stage Okay, we know, Max. Thanks for pointing that out. Whoa. Chloe can totally control her computer. It's so great people get this high-tech help. Technology! Fuck yeah. Can I open this? No? I'm really failing at getting her water. Can I just turn out the lights and pretend that she's not here? No? Okay. Um... Should I just break a snow globe and feed her the water in it? Oh, pfft. there's a cup right there. Jeez, I'm so stupid. Drink Here you go, Chloe. Cup. Drink up, Buttercup. Oh man, no wonder my throat is dry. I don't think I've talked this much the whole year. Uh, Have you ever thought about doing a podcast or something? I wish I could punch your face right now. A why? Podcast? Dude, I am a pod in a cast. Boring. I'm sure you still have some good opinions. You can like read books, audiobooks. I know you're just trying to help. <sighs> yeah, that's become a bad habit of mine. Yeah. You sound like an adult now. It seems like we were kids in another life. We were. Uh, what do you remember? What do you remember about us as kids? We all have different memories. I think about us as little pirates. Running and jumping through Arcadia Bay. I always wonder what me like too. my friends remember of me because but I remember like distinct things about them, but I don't even know if they remember those things about themselves. Yeah, right. Check me out, Chloe. So it's Curry. like we all remember different people. No way will I get on a fucking boat In now. a way, unless you're with me. As you can see, I can't keep all my other friends away. Oh, mm. which friends? Which who are your friends? Did you hang out with the most. Who Megan are your friends Weaver, in this universe? Know. Megan Weaver. She was cool. She sounds cool. But after my accident, she was too cool for school. What? I know I wasn't around much. No excuses. I'm a loser. Let's go beat but up Megan Weaver. I am trying to make things right. How? Dude, you're not super max. And I'm not trying to guilt trip you. That's what my parents are for. I, I don't want to just like reassure her and like feed her what she wants to hear because she just wants me to be real. She doesn't want me to feel sorry for her or like treat her differently. I wouldn't want that either if I was in her position. So I'm just going to... I'm just gonna straight up ask her, are you lonely? I know this is a dumb question, but... It is a dumb question. Maybe are you lonely normal. here? Yes, dumb question. Okay. <laughs> I don't mind being alone. I can't exactly go party like a rock star, though. Hmm. Or get an 18 trouble. Maybe we could dye her blue in the sink. I think Joyce and William are incredible. Max, the accident has been so hard on them. Hmm. Our insurance sucks. Oh, yeah. And medical bills We're in the States, insane. aren't we? Can they pay? Can they pay all the bills? <sighs> no way. They keep the numbers away from me, but it doesn't take much research to find out I'm costing my parents almost a million dollars a year. Oh. Chloe, you're priceless. Uh, okay, Max. You're talking no a big game, but you gotta put <sighs> your money where your mouth geek. is. That's why I love you. Of course, I know a geek when I be one. See, I'm practically a human entertainment system. Now let's get this show on the road. And you better not fall asleep on me like you always do when we watch movies. I remember, Max. Swear I won't fall asleep. Are we gonna sit here and no, watch a movie yet. for two hours? Cause I'm... Not yet. I'm not game. It's nice my parents sent a card at Chloe, least. Chloe, you know we love you and you're in our hearts and thoughts and we hope to see your smiling face soon. Ryan and Vanessa Caulfield. Thinking of you. I wonder who this is. Who kind is Megan? Generic card. Dear Chloe, I'm so sorry for what happened. Know that I'm here for you if you need anything. I hope you feel better and I hope to see you again soon. Wow, I thought we were like, I thought that you were pretty close with um, Chloe and that is a pretty generic card. When something really terrible happens to someone, you shouldn't just say, if you need anything, let me know. You should say like, what can I do for you? Or you should just like offer them something. I wasn't That's the way I see it anyway. to Chloe. Real nice. Chloe, just thought I'd drop you a quick note to let you know that I'm thinking about you. I feel so lame writing shit like I hope you're well, etc. I know your life is so different now and I don't want to let that get in the way of our friendship. Yes, I haven't been around lately, but that will change soon. I hope you're well. Love, Max. Why'd you put a hope you're well in... Oh, <laughs> clever. Max, it is so cool that you're here again. Oh, thanks. I'm glad you think so. In here, maybe? Ah, uh, here's the DVD. What are we watching? 
Hopefully it doesn't take too long. Go! Put it in and let's play. Or watch. Sit together. Sit down, Max. You're distracting us. Good times together, watching a movie, but she's watching me. She's watching me more than she's watching the movie. Hey, it's over. Good. Thought I was gonna, like, show the movie screen on the TV and, you know, just be awful. Max, why are you sticking around here for so long? Let's rewind it and do it different. I don't want to be friends with Victoria. I don't want... Actually, some of this stuff is good. Rise and shine, sweetheart. She's I cannot at you. believe you fell asleep so fast. <laughs> How dare you? Cute. Yesterday was such a blast. Aww. It was great seeing you. I know things were different when we were just dorky kids, but being with you made me feel like when we were little pirates, jumping and running through the forests again. It Aww, meant a lot isn't that to cute? Me just to chill out with you and, and bullshit. Oh, we still can, Chloe. <sighs> Fuck, um, I'm getting my regular head pains. Uh, can you, pretty please, go upstairs and get my, my morphine injector in the bathroom? Okay. Morphine injector? It's, uh, it's total Star Trek shit. You can't even see the needle. Seriously, I, I need it. Um, okay. My parents keep the swag upstairs because they think I can't get to it. But you can, Max. Like a pirate, right? Wow, wow, wow. I'm on it, Chloe. Why would they hide the morphine from her? I mean, surely she wouldn't abuse it. I would hope. Oh, Victoria texted me. Oh. Come by my room tonight. Max, are we cool? Just wanted to make sure since you walked away so fast. Nathan was worried too. If you want to talk, hit me up, Kay. Love you. Max, if you're mad, just tell me, Kay. Silence. So if you want to talk, my door is open. Love you. Wow, me and Victoria are pretty close. And Victoria really wants me to like her. So does Nathan. Why? I wonder how different... These guys are in this universe. Were they really just assholes because of me? They couldn't have been. Because of Chloe? Is Chloe the reason why, like, Chloe and Rachel, is that what caused Blackwell to go crazy? Hi, hey, William. William. Um, am I bothering you? Why, yes, Max. I love going through bills. <laughs> Kidding. How can you bother me? Aww. I haven't seen you in forever. I know. The financial exactly stress. The same. So what's on your mind? Where did I get the money for my clothes? Oh. Chloe. I don't know how to say this, but I'm truly sorry about what happened to Chloe. Me too. All it takes is a few minutes to change a girl's whole life. Yeah. But she's alive. Be grateful, everyone. She's been a trooper. I'm so glad Joyce is here to help us both. Max, I, I just hate to think of what would happen to Chloe if I wasn't here. William, I just want you to know that whatever happens, I'll always be here for Chloe. Always. Aww. I know you will, Max. Care room. I was impressed by Chloe's room and all the high-tech equipment. You should be. We could buy a few mansions for what it all costs. The insurance helps, but uh, I don't know, Max. <gasps> what do you do? I know it must be hard on you guys financially. You think? These bills are more like crushing. We have to mortgage our home, and that's pretty scary. But, uh, but we'll get through it. La, 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 la. Let's Price go rob a bank. Right. Get it? No? <laughs> Too soon, Dad. Being around you and Joyce again is so nostalgic. Very old school, as they say. <laughs> I think it's great for Chloe to see you. Makes Joyce happy, too. So, it's not all bad news in Arcadia Bay. Or is it? Hmm, we're all gonna die in a few days, but let's talk about the Prescotts first. I want to know, like, the Prescott family might be bad news. What's going on? What do you think about them? Yeah, what do you think? Evil. Evil. Next question. Sounds like and I'm friends with them? Know. More than I want mm -hmm. to. But Joyce has to work for those greedy bastards at Pan Estates. Oh, I'm oh, Joyce isn't working at the it. diner anymore. Rachel. I was reading about that missing girl. Rachel, what Amber. do you know about her? Oh, yes, yeah, she went to Blackwell, right? Ah, oh, poor thing. That's a real nightmare for a family. I get scared thinking about Chloe and that we hey, might... Hey, can you... Do you know anything? Lose her someday. Great. This guy is... What do you think is going just on? Just a fountain of wisdom. crazy weather and animals dying. Nobody knows, right? It is Nostradamus-type shit, pardon my French. But all I actually care about now is Chloe and Joyce. 
my family. What about me? I have to go see if Chloe needs anything. It was so great talking with you again. <laughs> you act like it's the last time. It is please, the last time. Keep me from these bills Bye. whenever you want. See you later. Let's look at his bills. <laughs> they might get their own home taken oh. away because of medical bills. Ooh. That's terrible. Wow. Okay. Sorry, guy. These what whales this? are just to Beached angels looking for whales. Come. And the Prescott Foundation? Jesus. Whereas the shores of Arcadia Bay once acted as a lovely gateway to the Pacific and beyond, now locals and tourists face the sad, surreal image of gray whales that inexplicably swam to land and to their doom. The whale pods were spotted early morning on Wednesday, October 9th, and within a few hours, at least a dozen were dead or dying or something. Rachel Amber is even missing in this Ooh. reality. Ooh, I can figure something out. I can't change everything. Search for popular teen continues. Blackwell honor student Rachel Amber has not been seen for over six months, yet her family and friends have only intensified the search for the 18-year-old Arcadia Bay resident. So it appears that regardless of uh, Chloe's presence or not, Rachel went missing, shit's gonna hit the fan, the Prescotts are still evil, so... Police and the FBI have few leads and little information in the case, which has caught the interest of a national reality show? Where did they come from? Where did they go? The Amber family has offered a reward for any information leading to the whereabouts of their daughter. Ugh reality show on that i mean whatever helps i guess choice is a food coupon boss yum yum sausage yum yum yum, yum. what else can we snoop de loop joyce and william never had a garage sale before oh no they're selling all their stuff so they can afford the stuff for chloe ah uh. they're drowning in debt just to ah. take care of their daughter such bullshit that's so unfair okay so where's mama's room again here right Let's get that morphine. Oh, oh Max, shit, it's it so nice to have you around. William is trying so hard. <laughs> He's still awesome. I love that. I wish he made more dad jokes. Lighten up the that situation a little a bit. It's feeling a little club. dry right now. I wonder who took the picture. Cute. This way. Oh, it better not be more bills. I didn't realize how bad Chloe's injury oh, really was. Chloe's res Chloe. Chloe's respiratory system is showing signs of rapid weakening. This accounts for her recent anemia and loss of breath. As a doctor, I'm committed to her well-being, but I want you to understand the reality that respiratory failure is common in people with severe spinal injuries. Your daughter is one of the bravest, strongest patients I've ever had, and I'm proud to be working with her. I just want you as parents to prepare for any and all possibility. I believe Chloe should also be made aware of her changing condition. Oh no, it looks like Chloe's like hanging on for dear life right now. It's good for Chloe to stay in touch with her friends. Hi. Just let me keep snooping through your stuff. I'll get to you in a sec. You're Joyce smoking? Is already a super, super mom. mom! Did you always smoke? Huh. Joyce used to hate smokers in the dining room. Yeah. What's up, Joyce? Why are you smoking? Morning, Max. Ah, oh, you and Chloe are so much quieter now than when you were kids. I remember. It's nice waking up in your house again. William. I have to tell you how much I love seeing you and William together again. He's been such a hero through all this. Chloe and I are lucky to have him. Aww. William's still the same? Is William still the same? After everything that's happened. Yes. Yeah, for better and for worse. But always for the better. I... I never thought I'd love a man so much I can't imagine life without him. Oh my goodness, this is so hard. Sounds corny, I know. You rule, Joyce. Shit. Things would be different if I did. I like how you think, kid. How are you doing, Joyce? Yeah, how are you? I'm doing the best I can, Max. I won't yeah. lie. It's difficult. I mean, I guess that was kind of a stupid question, Nobody too. said life was easy here in Arcadia Bay. Okay. What about David Madsen? What's he up to? Do you know somebody named David Madsen? Since you're not dating him in this alternate he world. might hang out at the two whales. Well, that was random. He's a bus yeah, driver. He's a, he comes in sometimes. Driver. He comes in sometimes. Cute? Cute, quiet. Why? Ew. She oh, still um, is into him, huh? I, I was just curious. You always were. Nice to see that everything doesn't change. Lot of work. Plus, you guys have to work, too. Uh, ah, yeah. Bill and I have no time for ourselves. We're working more than we're living. <sighs> I even had to take a 
part-time gig at Pan Estates. Ugh. Do and you now you work for the Prescotts. For Prescott? I know that Sean Prescott won't be happy until he owns everything in Arcadia Bay. Stay away from his son, Nathan. Oh, but he texts me nicely. So... Might go get drugged by him later. What do you think is going on here with all of this eco-havoc? Maybe Arcadia Bay just wants to be left alone. I know the feeling. Mm. Honestly, I don't give a shit about too much outside our house. I don't blame you, Joyce. Okay, thanks Except for nothing, Joyce. Now we have dead birds and beach whales outside our front door. Mm -hmm. So maybe I should care, for Chloe's sake. Chloe! I wish I was a better friend. I know Chloe doesn't get many visitors. Oh, Max. You're Chloe's best friend for a reason. You're here exactly when she All needs right, you. Alright, that's nice. It's, uh, it's so freaking nice. Chloe needs help. Who helps Chloe out when you guys are at work? We have a series of revolving nurses and caretakers. <laughs> Chloe still causes trouble, even if she can't move. Max, Chloe's condition is not improving. Her respiratory system is very weak, and she... She... Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <sighs> Choice. I'm so sorry you have to go through all this. Bad or good, I embrace every moment with my daughter and my husband. This I wonder if I'm going to tell Chloe about all of this if I we'll always be one. do a little flippity, no flippity flop. I better get back to Chloe now. The old switcheroo. It's good talking Alternate to university. You Alternate too, reality. Right? So I thought the pills were in here. I just must have not been paying too close of attention. Oh yeah, they're injections, not pills. <laughs> Wasn't Chloe's old room here? Mm, so clean and naked and empty and no soul. Hi, Bill. Sorry for not staying in touch since the accident. Work's been piling up and I'm busy and I only care about myself and money's nobody's favorite thing, so I can't help you. Maybe I'll see you next spring. Bye. Wow, he cares. Okay. I feel so guilty for putting Chloe and her family through this. You didn't do shit. You just wanted I to check it out. I Chloe the choice of keeping William alive. What and I see that they're a family again. And who am I to judge? Huh, that's a doozy. Life is strange, as they say. I guess we stopped growing up together. Crutches? They bought crutches for Chloe. Aww. Hoping she might walk again. Okay, that's enough. Tragedy. Holy. Too bad Joyce and William can't. I got my own problems. Prescott Foundation. Okay, Aunt Dorothy. Dear Joyce, thank you for keeping me updated on Chloe's condition. I can only imagine the struggle you and William are going through, and I'm so sorry that I can't help you with a loan at this time. Like everyone else, I'm underwater with my own medical bills. No, oh, she probably didn't say it in that tone. Please give Chloe a hug. Thanks for your hugs, but we're gonna lose our house. But it's not your fault. It's nobody's fault. Stuff like this just sucks. Okay, now where is that needle? It's cool that Injector uses morphine. Natural medicine too. Hmm. Nothing here. Yeah. What about here? Here it is. There it is. I never thought I'd be delivering morphine to my best friend. Is that all I need? Do I take the bags too? Or just the needles? I don't, I've never injected things before. Okay. That's great. Let's look in the mirror. How's it going, time Let's tripper? look in the mirror. Funny. Whoa. Okay, that's good. Let's I go. think I look older. Oh, we should turn that off. Their electricity bills are, oops, enough without me screwing around with their light bulbs. All right, we got the morphine for the Chloe. And hopefully she's chaos, okay. Theory. I fucked everything up. Why? Yes, sir. You are screwed. Yeah, every, I mean, ugh, this is bad. I definitely have to take a third job. No! I can't ha- like, my heart can't right now. Bonjour. That's great they finally went to Paris. Oh, bonjour! Oh, you went to Paris! Oh, bonjour! Damn. This is just for Chloe's basic supplies. Ha! Hey, so bonjour, how did Paris go? Huh? Hello again, William. Nice to see you back. Hi! Paris trip! So you finally made it to Paris. Oui, as they say. <laughs> Not me, because I can't mm, speak French. Did you eat crepes and it was a brie great experience. and oh, just all the Especially fine for cheeses? I can did you eat the foie gras? Did you eat it you all? You guys rock was it good? for going on a family adventure like that. She talked about going to school there. 
but that's no. not practical. Anymore. It's not fair, Max. Before we go, let's just go outside and take a little look. Oh, this is where the swing oh, used to be. The swing is gone now. It must have been sad. What about this? Chloe actually moved our drawing so she could oh, see it from her room. Cute. What if it rains? There's gonna be a Chloe. a typhoon soon, so should probably move that inside. Grave. I'm sorry, Bongo Kitty. Bongo. But oh, Bongo is such a cute name for a kitten. This reality. Bongos, bongos, bong, 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 bongo. Oh, look at birds. all these dead birds. It's happening here too. It's happening! Watch out! The end of the world! Uh, why, why is life so messed up and people are so messed up? That, like, you can't, no matter what reality, just terrible stuff is always happening. Hey, Chloe. Go ahead and plug it right in. It's so easy. And painless. I don't feel um, good about this. Okay, but get ready to yell for your folks if I screw up. Oh, trust me. I will. Of course, my pain just keeps getting worse. But you caught me on a good day. Okay. Max, I'm so grateful that I'm even able to hang out with you. See, I'm getting mushy. Aw, you. <laughs> You're so adorable. Do you want anything else? Um, stop me if I'm being too emo. But can you grab one of the photo albums over there? I'd like okay. to check out some old pictures of us when we were kids. Please, my diary is like emo ground zero. No, you should read my emo Plus, diary. Max it's hilarious. Caulfield does not pass up a photo op with Chloe Price, ever. All right, where's the damn diary? Um, maybe in here. Wow. So oh. Chloe was a Whoa, straight Chloe a student. was a straight A student. She could have gone to any college. That's what new. A bastard. I totally should have let Chloe steal your bullshit fund. Ah. Reality. Principal Wells, dear Mr. and Mrs. Price, as principal, I feel sorry for you, but ugh, get out of here. But he has a fat stack of cash in his office. I really, really thought that I sh not stealing it would be the good thing to do, and but I, um, I fucked up. Let's look at the pictures together. Oh, oh do you remember that? Look oh, how so fun. We are there. We look like toys. Yeah, that's I great. remember that day by the lighthouse. My I remember dad that. Was pissed at us. He actually tried to give Don't you love when out. people go through their memories and you weren't there and you're just <laughs> kind of like, hey guys, let's go. Oh man, there we are oh, making, making pancakes. Oh, we're making pancakes. Oh, I love, I love that, that shot. shot That's a good one. It's hard to believe my dad took that picture only five years ago. Mm-hmm. Hard really to believe. Seems like yesterday. Seems like today. I wish it was. Me too. This photo. Maybe I could. Let's do it. Let's go. Let's do it. Listen, Max. My respiratory system is failing. I know. Trying not to get emotional here. It's only getting worse. I've heard the doctors talking about it when they thought I was zonked out. So I know I'm just putting off the inevitable while my parents suffer along. Uh, and I will too. And then when you pass, you're going to leave them with this crippling debt. And then you're going to pass, and that's really sad. I'm what are you saying? Uh, I'm saying that being with you again has been so special. Well, that's good. I just wanted to feel like when we were kids running around Arcadia Bay and everything was possible, and you made me feel that way today. I want this time with you. No. To be my last memory. What? Do you understand? No. No. Yes, I do. All you have to do. No. His crank up the IV no. to 11. No. No. As they say in France, no. Ah. Ah. I don't know. Chloe, I really don't know if I can do this. I had another friend. Yeah, come on. Max just had to deal with Kate. Like, can we? And I did we really... everything I could to try and save Ugh. her life. I'm being selfish. How can I be responsible for ending yours? I mean, th there's got to be another way. Max, you were there for your friend, no matter what. 
Now I'm asking you to help me the same way. But my friend wanted to do that, and I pulled I her away, and she you, Chloe, hopefully is going to be grateful for it. But Chloe I, doesn't have a choice. I think my help is hurting. At least you have a choice. When you want to make a decision, you can just do it. Look at me. I'm at the mercy of everybody. For once, I want to make my own choice. The most important one of my life. Please. Help me, Max. Ah! She wants this to be her last memory. Like, she- This is what she wants. Her respiratory system is going out. She's going to die anyway. But is she- uh, Is she lucid right now? I mean, I just gave her morphine. What if she regrets it when she's- What is morphine even- What is- uh, ah, Damn it. Oh, okay, I'm gonna do it, guys. Chloe, I'll just drift asleep. Oh my god. Dreaming of us here together. Forever. And then I get arrested for murder. Thank you so much. I'm so proud of you for following your dreams. Don't forget about me. Never. I love you, Max. See you around. Sooner than you think. When you picture people playing video games, is it, do you ever picture them just being like, "Fuck!" This is literally the worst. Cool. Now what do I do? Do I tell her parents that she's gone now and I might have accidentally cranked that shit? God. Yeah. Let's just focus I'm on the sorry, photo and rewind because that's fucked up. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Oh. <laughs> there we go. Someday Dad'll get one of them newfangled computers. All right, I sorry, hope the William. Flash didn't scare you, Max. This is a keeper. Wait, why did I even do that? Why did I help her die if I was gonna rewind it anyway? Hello. Oh hey, man, honey. that's such a hard question. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Didn't get to me as hard as Kate did because... Shit, where am I? I mean, she made a good point about it, like, not being her choice and how it was inevitable and how she wanted being with me to be her last memory and... that staying alive would just drain her parents' resources. Uh, just stuff like that, I don't know. Forever. Still tough, though. And no Chloe and Max wine tasting session. Dad! Don't blow it, because tonight your mother promised to make us a world-famous salmon surprise with chocolate cake for dessert. Yeah, life is strange, huh? Max, you'll be here too, right? She's never leaving me. That makes all of us. When am I gonna, like, kiss Warren and dance with Dana? And, you know, boogie with the Prescotts? Or something. Max, you are being so fucking strange. Like, you're never gonna see us again. Yeah, okay, I know. I, I just let him go with the keys so he's gonna I'm die. I'm so sorry. I tried to make things different for you. I I did try. I'm sorry. Why would you tell I her that exactly now? I don't exactly what you're talking about, but come on. You have made things different. Like, my whole life. Mm, you're my best friend. Okay. I've got you and a great family. Uh -huh. What's to be sorry for? We'll be best friends forever. And when we grow up, we're taking over the world. Listen, whatever happens, I want you to be strong. Even if you feel like I wasn't there for you. Because I will never abandon you, Chloe. I'll Yeesh. always have your back. Always. Uh Happy birthday! Oh wait, that goes in the Oh yeah. <laughs> That's what we get instead. Cute. That's that one's no, we're wiping that off the record. Now, since we're back where we are supposed to be, can I please tell Chloe what uh, the alternative would have been and maybe she should stop whining so much and blaming her dead father for her problems Because you know things could be a lot worse. It's always nice to have a little perspective. There I am with my wiggly hair Chloe, you're alive. Yes Whoa, whoa, down Max. You get one kiss We're now you're back! I'm just, I'm just, I'm so glad you're here You sound high but thanks no for the problem. morning rope. I'm with Warren, Since by we're the up way. All night playing CSI Arcadia Bay, I was still spaced out here trying to put all this info together. Max, did you forget we've gone over this? I hope you weren't messing around with time while I was sleeping. 
Not anymore. I'm just spaced out too. Welcome back to the real world. Yeah, it's a, it's a good world. It's a better world. I like this world. I don't think I can ever tell Chloe no, go ahead. what happened. Well, I mean, Chloe seems to be in a better mood now. Last episode, she was like, I hate everything and my life is shit and there's nothing good about it. And I was like, hey, well, let's go change it. And then we saw what just happened. So the next time she has a meltdown, perhaps we can let her know. Oh, I can get up. Fuck. We have to do three main things. Right. What things? Um, what things? One, decipher okay. Frank's logbook. Two, okay, Nathan's get phone. Nathan's phone okay. to find out where he's been during the Vortex Club parties with Kate and Rachel. And see whatever hidden Ooh, shit he's yeah. got in his messages. Three, beat Step Douche Dan until he tells us about Frank, Nathan, and the Dark Room. Too bad I don't have a gun Shut in Shut up! Yes, I do my best! Solution. We'll have to do this on our own. Dude, at least let me kick his ass, then rewind. <sighs> Fine, whatevs. It's your power. Which I can't waste on shit like that. Or Blackwell would be in big trouble. You didn't even let me take that money to pay Frank off. And I'm glad. We have to be better yeah. than that. Better than that. Even though I, I wish know. I stole it. You should get busy in the garage to see what dirt you can dig up. I'm gonna cyberstalk some names and see where that leads. Or to who. Unless you want to hang out with him after you stood up for his ass yesterday. Oh, please. Shut up. God, Chloe. We're like an old married couple. I can't abuse this level of- No, you can't. Power. I'm so sorry, William. It's not fair you yeah. have to die twice. That sucks. But I think he would have liked it this way. Or not. I mean, nobody wants to die, but... I think that just being in so much debt that there's nothing you can do would suck and having a daughter die that That's would suck my Chloe. the bad girl's guide to guns mm, how hardcore what about this the great northwest Damn. this is a serious expose on the prescotts the name prescott may not mean much to you or those outside of the edges of a small coastal oregon town but this is a name that means quite a bit in arcadia bay a quaint town seemingly stuck in time once home to a prosperous fishing and tourism industry the town has seen much better paydays despite the local success of the prestigious blackwell academy and its football and swimming teams the bigfoots and the otters okay who gives a shit Environmental changes to the area have reduced the amount of fish and other sea life resulting in a stagnant economy and limited tourism. <coughs> Oddly, the Prescotts have managed to keep their business interests quite profitable. In fact, they're behind an expensive, exclusive house development known as Pan Estates to be built into the deep forest near Blackwell Academy. Local Native American groups have already filed various motions against development citing widespread destruction of tribal lands and natural resources. Ew. Okay, let's get the hell out of here. Oh no. That poor little bird has been trapped in here. How do we let the bird out? Mhm. Mm Open. Let's free the birds. Okay, let's check out this bathroom. Okay, we got our makeup. We got our sink that I can wash my scrubby face in. Ah, oh, yeah. Max is on that uh, very minimalistic oh, that makeup blue and dye makes me so skincare happy. look. Get out! Yes, go out through the window. Out through the window, little bird. Get out of my house. Hey, get out. Fly, be free. Yes, there you go. That'd be funny if he just like flew right into the wire. Just... <laughs> All right, let's get the hell out of here. I wonder what we're gonna go do now. I wanna go steal Nathan's phone. I wanna go get into some trouble. Hey, Juliet, are you busy? No time to be busy. You never text me. What's going on? Besides everything, I was just curious if you've ever heard of a guy named Frank who lives in an RV around town. You mean a van down by the river? <laughs> I heard he's a sketchy meth head. That's about it. Why? Are you doing your own investigation without my help? No, just bored. Talk soon. Thanks. Okay, but you can't keep secrets. From ace reporter Juliet Watson. Hello? <laughs> Sorry, Juliet. Dad. I'm just being a dad. Okay, thanks, Dad. Courtney. Hey, girlfriend. Let me know when you want to come by my room and I'll give you a fashion makeover. Oh, she's like, she thinks she's so cool. Thanks, Courtney. I'm swamped with homework right now, but I'll check in with you later. Thanks again for the offer. I complimented her outfit to try to get to a, a party and she thinks she's like my fashion queen now. Oh, it's David. Hi, David. David Madsen. It looks like David finished his car repairs. Maybe there's some new clues around. Um, he's right there. 
Max. Max. Let's go talk to him. Hi. Anything I can do for you, Max? I... That's nice. I was just waiting for Chloe to get out of the bathroom so we can go. I owe you one. So I'll pretend what you just said is true, Missy. Mm, excuse Are me. Are we friends? That's Miss Caulfield. Yes, sir. You and Chloe still better be careful where you wander. I'm trying. There are a lot of dark places. I know. Like hey, maybe Joyce has good taste and what he's just like a little crazy, places? but at the same time. I can't tell you everything that's bad. going on at Blackwell. Oh. And you've seen too much already, so please stay out of this. Tell mess. me. Too late. I already know way too much. So, do you and Nathan Prescott... That little shit-ass Nathan Prescott is lucky he only got suspended. Mm. I don't think luck had anything to do with it. I could have been suspended, too. I didn't have all the evidence at the time. I, I am sorry, Max. It's been a hard week on all of us. Especially poor Kate Marsh. I tried to help Kate. I tried to help Kate. You did, Max. You saved her life like a hero. Oh, While thanks, I left David. Oh, he's so really I'm flattering me right now. I knew Kate was feeling desperate. You even made it to the roof before me or anybody. Oh, I knew thanks. Kate was oh David, you too. don't have to. So did Mr. Keep Jefferson. Going, though. That guy is an elitist prick. I'm off duty, so I can say it at home behind his back. Like when Chloe calls me step douche. These artists live in a fantasy world. Hmm. Why say that? Why do you say that? These art farts are all about themselves. When I was in the service, I hated the photographers who tried to pose me in their anti-war bullshit. Mm. Well, Blackwell Academy is a school for artists, so maybe this isn't the best place for you. I have a family here, Max, and I think Blackwell is the best place for me. Since only I know what's happening. Aww. That's why Poor I'm David. working He's out the new from Blackwell another generation, surveillance you know. plan to protect future students. He doesn't students like my selfies. So they don't end up like Rachel Amber and Kate Marsh. What do you know about Although, Rachel? You're like a walking surveillance system. I appreciate you standing up for me, but I have to be a hard ass and tell you and Chloe to stay the hell out of this. Things I'm not going to stay out of it. Ugly. Chloe and I can take care of ourselves. You now, tell excuse me, sister. Max. I have to get back to my camera. See, I'm an artist too. Oh, uh, how funny. Now let's talk. Sorry, more. Max. I can't talk and work. Okay, thanks, uh, Mr. Madsen. Uh, oh, that makes me sad. It was so incredible to see William again. I wish Chloe You know, did David too. did let uh, Joyce keep her little picture of William, so he's not like a jealous freak. I thought he was like full insane, but maybe he's not. What I don't know, but setting David up a security system Nathan? in your own house was pretty crazy. And what did his Mr. Madsen, thank you for your help with Nathan. It is appreciated. Best, the Prescott douche. Whoa, that is a serious padlock on that locker. Mm. Hey, David. What you hiding? All right, so there appears to be a code for this, and for once I don't have time. I don't know what it is, so I'm gonna code. look. Welcome to I Florida, to the key. Sunshine State. Um, there's a nest oh. here, so maybe the first number is three for three eggs. Blue eggs in the nest. I I better move this plank if I want to take the shot. Excuse me, just one picture, please. Hopefully that is in the blue jay's nest that I just let out. Another photo from my Arcadia Bay wildlife series. Mm-hmm. Good for you. You're such an artist. You're such a beautiful, wonderful human being. Wait, should I put that back? Yeah, I'm gonna put it back. Oh, thank you. Sleep tight, my eggy eggs. Mm -hmm. I'll put that back. I'll put that back. I don't want to like the garage door to open and the eggs to eat shit. Just married, Hong Kong. Okay. Thanks for letting me look through all this stuff, David. Take sure is hard. Bitch. Excuse me, Max. Do not touch one goddamn thing. Oh. Sorry. Come on, Max. Hey, Find Max. a way to get David out of his cave. I do appreciate. Uh, can I just rewind him yelling at me? Because that was scary. Okay. How do we get this asshole out of his cave? Cause I gotta find Sorry, some. But this is my official man cave, so no girls allowed. Can you shut up? Stupid. You ugly bitch. What the hell did David <laughs> okay. do for Nathan? How do I get him out of here? Oh, a fuse box. 
Let's tamper I with it. I can't him. let David see me while I snag his keys. Enter the ninja. Son of a bitch! I just fixed that fuse box. Ah, stupid. You might want to go fix it, hey? Hey, David? Hey, David? Hey? Hey? Huh, stupid. Tick. Gotcha. Shoop be doop, shoop be doop be doop, boop be doop, boop be doop be doop. Yeah! Now. Let us just use the. Oh. I thought I could just use a key. Thought it was one of those. Oh, you can! Okay. Hey, Max. I, do appreciate you I am the key master. Uh, no problem, David. You're a great guy. You're a credit to the community. Ooh. Oh, maps, notes, coordinates, photos of Kate, Nathan. Ooh! Oh, yes. hey! This is some juicy shit right here. Ooh, latitude, longitude. Oh, this is Chloe's license plate, so this says exactly where she's been, so I feel like David definitely knows that we were the ones that robbed the principal's office. Ugh. Oh, there's a uh, good old Nathan punching good old Warren. That was a good time. There's a, uh, you know, a truck. There's me. Looking very sad and, and mysterious. Thank you. Let's just put that back. Score. Back to Chloe now. Oh, why is my nose so itchy? Oh! restaurant in town. David knows how to get on Joyce's good side. Oh, that's cute. But your bills are overdue. Six course couples dinner. Endless wine. Endless wine? Really? What, what are they drinking? Piss in a cup? Call Chloe. Yo, Chloe! Are you ready yet? I have to get back to my dorm. Are we happy? Very happy. I hit the secret file jackpot. It's Kate, Nathan, and Rachel. Plus there's some location coordinates. David is like a one man like surveillance one army. Man surveillance army. No, let's get the hell out of here before we get busted. Let's get the hell out of here before we get busted. But I absolutely have to go see Kate in the hospital right now. I want to find out how she's doing. Is it going to be bad that I didn't put David's keys back? Oh well. Turd sick boot. Okay. This is definitely Kate's floor. The hospital's always My baby Kate! I, I hear you. But imagine how Kate feels. I'm so glad I, I get to see her again. I hope it's not too weird for her. No, she'll be stoked to see you. Who wouldn't be? This be it. I'm a little nervous. Just go in there and be your friend. Aww. I'll wait out here so you can chill by yourselves. I was a total dick for blowing a fuse when you answered Kate's call the other Aww, day. Aw, thanks, Chloe. Good thing you ignored me. That's nice. I was pissed I off at you. I, I held that against you, through. but we're cool now. And you saved her. Like me. I'm sorry. Oh, it's okay. Don't worry about it. Love you. Thanks, Chloe. But don't be sorry. We're all on the same team. Team yeah. Max. Let Kate know we're gonna string Nathan up by his balls then. Oh yes. <laughs> I'm on it. Yes. Opens the door. It's Kane! She's drawing and she looks so cute. Oh, and she's smiling. Oh, just love her. Max. Oh, Kate. I thought I'd never see you again. I feel so ridiculous. I'm so sorry. Oh, uh, don't be Kate, sorry. Listen to me. You have nothing to be sorry about. Other people do. You do not know how happy I am to see you. You look awesome. I love her grandma hairdo. It's cute. Is it a stupid question? That was not me being patronizing intentionally. Now that you're here, I'm doing even better. I'm so grateful to you for coming up to the roof to talk me down. Oh, don't you fret. Max, I felt so lost and alone. When I saw how much you cared, how hard you were trying, you made me realize I wasn't alone. Oh, stop it. First Thank David, you. now you. Kate, there are so many people who love you and want to help you. I know. You should see all the letters and postcards. I gave most of the flowers to other patients here because they need them more than me. Oh, I'm keeping them good old giving though. Kate. One of the nurses gave me some pen and paper so I could do some drawings. How cute is she? I love your illustrations. They got kind of dark there for a while. But I have an idea for a new children's book about bullying. Aww. I was thinking of having some photographs in there too. 
I hope that's a subtle hint that you'll let me take the photographs for the book. Was that subtle? You better take the pictures, Aww, Matt. okay. I gotta get out of here. Day until my family comes out to visit. How are they treating you? That's enough like of this. they need to protect me forever. Feeding my ego for now. They're so upset, and I know they feel guilty even though they didn't do anything. Yeah, they did. I was surprised how many students from Blackwell wrote me. Daniel, Mr. Jefferson, even Victoria wrote me a Ew. note. And I believe she was being... She was not. Me too. But I'm, I'm not going to say that. Again, Kate. I'm working on it, Max. I just pray I can get this drawing right. Oh, you are just so pr Oh, look at you. I could, just, I could just eat you right up. Kate, it is so good to hang out with you again. Max, I owe you so much. And I can tell you want to talk to me about something. Yeah, I want to talk to Kate about Kate. <laughs> Nathan? I want you to know I'm this close to getting all the info I need about Nathan. Nathan Prescott has to pay for what he did. Oh, he will. And we have to stop him from hurting anybody else. Yeah, yeah, that too. Well, I did get his ass suspended, so that might be a start. You did? Oh, right on, Max. I love how fearless you are. So what is going on with him now? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Vortex Club? I assume he'll show up at the Vortex Club party tonight like nothing happened. And nobody can do anything to him after what he did. We're going to stop him. I just have to find Nathan's room number, get inside, and get the clues I need. Max, please let me help. I can get the number, and I'll text it to you, okay? Of course, Kate. I can't do this without you. Cute. Now it's time for Nathan to watch out for us. And Kate. I always want to talk to you. We missed our tea session this week. Oh, That was so not cool. We need to plan, like, a tea shop tour of Portland. Oh, that yes. would be very hipster. And you could oh, bring high Warren tea. Yeah, I could too. bring Warren. Warren? What do you think of uh, Warren? Oh, smart and silly. He's got such a good heart. Aw, maybe and she should get with Warren. he's a cutie Warren. pie. You know he likes you. Mm, yeah, he's I mean, mine. I'm Thanks. going to the drive-in with him, so <laughs> we'll see. With everything that's going on, it... A date seems weird. No, you deserve that. Kate Marsh, matchmaker. I'm glad somebody is looking out for my love life. Even angels need angels, Max. I have to get back to our uh, mission. You don't know how much it means to see you again. I do. That's why I love you, Max. Thanks for taking care of my bunny. Oh, no problem, Tell but it's shitting and stinking in my room. So can we, can you take it back soon? Thank you. Um, okay. Those are nice flowers. And from Taylor? Wow, props to her. No, no props to her. She was, like, laughing. Taylor and Victoria induced this horrible situation. If this gets and I'm still mad away, about it. So be it. I don't think get well is quite apropos. Mm. I don't think it's all apropos. That is so sweet. Oh, it's so appropriate. Even Victoria signed. Well, that's... But not Nathan. It's nice. We love you, Kate. That's appropriate. Victoria Chase might be queen bitch, but she's not evil. Yes, she is. Kate, I know you hate me, and you should, but I only want to see your smile again. Please let me know if you need anything. XO Vic. Was Victoria not filming Kate trying to jump? Like, was she not filming that? I, I, I just, I don't trust it. Principal Wells knows how to step it up when he wants to. Mm. So this is the principal. Dear Kate, I just wanted to express my deepest wish for a speedy recovery and that Blackwell is united in prayers for your return. The students and faculty have organized a rally in your honor and I've never seen such outpouring of academic and community support for any student in our history. I know my words may mean little given your circumstances, but it's important that you know that we do care. If you need any assistance at all, please do not hesitate to ask. People only care after the person tries to do something terrible like why why didn't they care so much when the horrible tape came out okay and now let's let's get to business let's talk about um hey Kate, victoria's letter back again which makes me happy <laughs> victoria i saw victoria's letter how does that make you feel 
Max, I know Victoria can be, uh, not nice, but I do believe in forgiveness That's so and good that redemption. you do. I might be naive, but I feel her struggle. No, that's good that you Me believe too. in forgiveness because I, on I the other hand, a picture of her covered in I'm blood, out for your revenge. We, didn't. we had a genuine moment. We all have our moments. Why do you think she acts so mean? Because <laughs> she's a bitch. Um, maybe she's insecure. I don't know. I don't know. I just think that I do know that she is a biatch, but I don't know if she's insecure. She could be. Maybe she's insecure? She's insecure. If you're comfortable with yourself, you don't need to act superior. Victoria doesn't look like she has much to be insecure about. Yeah, I agree. Alright, I'm out. Leaving the hospital. That was nice. Well, I don't know what to think. She's still Kate Marsh. Thank God. I'm glad we came to see her. Aw, thanks, <laughs> Chloe. You're so nice. Now let's You're go a bossy a ass. Nathan Prescott. That little prick is not going to be glad when he sees us. I can't forgive Victoria. I mean, I, I like that Kate is doing that and that she's not carrying that burden. So I'm going to carry that burden for her and see that there is justice. Ooh, it's Mr. Jefferson. Look how beautiful it is and everyone's happy. The window is open, so is that door. Who's that kid? I don't think I've ever seen that kid before. Oh, hi. Oh, look at all that. Oh, and look at that um, totem pole. I don't like how the Prescotts are building on hey, Max. Like, traditional lands. How you doing? Oh, hi, Mr. Ooh. Jefferson. Hi, Mr. Jefferson. I'm okay. <laughs> um, and this is my friend, Chloe. Yo. Chloe? Why isn't somebody as cool as you going to Blackwell? I was way too cool for this school. It's a long story. In actual files here. I can yeah, imagine. she got expelled. Max, are you sure that you're all right? Oh, it's Mr. Weird. Jefferson. Being on campus, Stop like everything's it. normal. I know, lame as it sounds. Life has to go on. I think there's too much going on in my life. On that note, Blackwell duty calls. Remember, I'm going to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes contest tonight, tonight? at the party. So I hope you'll be there to celebrate, even though I'm sorry you didn't enter a photo. I understand your reasons. You can't force an artist to work. Hey, I was I've I been feel working. like a total loser, but it's been a hard week to focus. No pun intended. Did I I'm miss my opportunity to enter? I'm proud of you for caring so much about a troubled friend. And I take hope in the fact that you have plenty of time to find your way. Just... Is Victoria gonna win the damn competition? Thanks, Mr. Jefferson. I'll definitely be there tonight. Me too. I'll be Max's date. You better dance with us at least once. But wait. <laughs> am I not to going to a Vortex dance. party? Plus, going to the movies with the Warren? Trying to keep up with the kids. Going to the school I dance with Dana? Time. Be seeing you. Yes, hey. I will. Hot for teacher. Yeah, Gross. thanks, I know. Me too. You are out of control. Shut oh, up, yeah. Max, you too. Just wait until the rager tonight. <sighs> Shut up. Don't be jealous because Mark Jefferson thinks I'm cool. I am so ignoring you. <laughs> Fine. Since I'm here, I'll see if I can get some dirt from Justin. I haven't talked to him in a while. Now that is a great plan. Okay. So they showed that that kid that I, I don't know who he is. Let's see if I can find out where Nathan is. Hey, where'd he go? There you are. Hey, Daniel. Daniel. You look bummed out. You are okay, you right? little buddy? Hola, Max. I just figured out that my photos basically. Aw, don't say that. Everyone sucks for a long time eyes. before they make anything good. Take different photos. Maybe you should try different subjects. Something more like your portraits. Mm. That makes sense, but not if I can't choose the subjects in class. If only I could draw my photographs. I think I'll just sit here. Okay, he's gonna be bummed out no matter what. Great. Okay, thanks. Bye. Wait a minute. Okay, draw your photo. Your drawings are your photographs. How about that? So draw your photos with your eyes and make the camera your lens pen. Lens pen. Oh, lens pen. I he digs that, it. Max, that it could work for him. My butt hurts from sitting there so long. I do feel better now. Aw, good. Are good, Max. No problem. Now tell me about... Mm. Alright, so he doesn't really seem like an end-of-the-world party kind of guy. So talk to me about Kate. Have you talked to anybody about what happened with Kate? I don't talk to anyone, Max. But I did actually have a nice talk with Brooke. With Brooke, huh? She couldn't stop talking about how brave you were on that roof. Oh, that's I don't nice. think doing the right thing is brave, but I appreciate what she means. 
The most important thing is that Kate gets better and gets justice. I hear yeah. that, Max. She's the sweetest, most genuine person I've ever met. Aww. I don't mind getting picked on by Blackwell bro holes, but don't fuck with Kate. I hmm. like this revolutionary Daniel DaCosta. Only if I can start the revolution from my sketchbook, Max. Well, let's hope. Nathan. By the way, have you seen Nathan Prescott? Oh, I heard a rumor he's actually suspended. Yeah, okay, I know yeah, more than you do. He's still gotta be on campus. That explains why he looks so pissed off when I saw him leaving campus a few moments ago. Oh. Are you going to the end of the world party tonight? It will be if I go, man. People here push me into lockers, not dance floors. Aww. Should I tell him to go to the party or not go to the party? Go to the party! That's exactly why you should go to that party. We have to stand up to these Blackwell bullies yeah. for Kate. You won't be alone, Daniel. Not with you to back me up, Max. Aw, oh, well, hopefully I can make it. <laughs> I will go to the party like it is the end of the world. Well, it is. Okay, maybe I won't go, but... No, I won't do that, but I'll go. Let's talk later. Okay, Daniel? Good. Nathan is not around. I... Thanks again for making me feel better and pushing me to the party. No problem. Let's chat later, Max. Yeah, okay. All right, now, squirrels. Oh, I'm glad to see your squirrels are still healthy and happy on the campus. Me too. If something happened to them, oh. Not as long as you're here to take care of them, Samuel. The only thing that calms them is food. <laughs> Lots of food. Not Which reminds them. me th that I have to feed them now. Mm -hmm, so cute. What are you feeding it? Bagels? That's a chunky squirrel. I wish Kate had come to me. I had no idea what she was going through. Kate was drugged at the Vortex Club party and bullied by them until she ended up on the roof. How do you stop that? Shut down that damn Vortex Club for a start. I don't mean to get riled up, but that party should have been postponed. It's extremely tasteless given what happened with Kate. Yeah. Hmm, the Prescotts or Principal Wells? She probably knows more about the principal. So, than why doesn't Principal Prescott's. Wells stop the party? To be honest, he doesn't seem to care about what's going on here. Yeah, he Raymond just kind of drinks and stuff. From financial disaster, and he cares more than you know. You're wise, mm. but don't be so quick to judge everybody. You're okay, right. sorry. I, I just wish this could be the school that I dreamed about before I came here. I hear you, Max. I love seeing you and Warren and all my students at your best here. But you're all too young to be so cynical. But you truly give me hope. I'm sorry, Miss Grant. I, I have to get going. I I'll see you later. <gasps> Ooh, double squirrel. Can I take a photo? Ooh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that that is sexy. That is gorgeous. Warren oh, it's Brooke. Hey, Brooke. Hi. Hi. Are you? you still mad at me? I'm here as usual. By the way, thanks for helping Kate down. Are you okay? She seems like a decent person. I like her. Nathan. I need to find Nathan. Have you seen him around? Ask Warren. I mean, you're going to the movies with him and everything. Don't Come be mad, Brooke. please. Don't be that way. Nathan was suspended, but he should still be on campus. Warren's not good enough for you? Okay. I saw Nathan pissed and walking off campus earlier. Good luck getting that date, Max. Wow! I might feel better taking your drone for a quick flight. Miss Grant finally gave up and let me fly her again. But you're going to the drive-in with Warren, so you don't have time to fly my Shut drone. Shut up, girl! Really? You're so annoying. I can't fly your drone because I'm going your to... Your jealousy is real ugly. You are perceptive, Max. Now, excuse me. My drone needs me. That's so <laughs> My drone. That talk to you later, Max. Bye. That's so Have fun with your drone. Now, who else can we talk to that's important? Zachary? Nope. This doofus that he's playing catch with? Nope. What about this skater boy? Nope. Alright. Chloe, we're done here. Let's go. It would be so cool if you and me were going to school here together. <laughs> but now what? you can have Mr. Jefferson all to yourself. Ugh, oh, you I suck. Now let's get into Blackwell him. Ninja mode. We can sh- sh- no. 
It's so lame, we don't have co-ed dorms here. Yes, because I want Nathan Prescott in the room next door. Good point. Wait here. Give me the signal if Nathan or anybody shows up. I won't let you down, Batmax. Okay. Now okay. I just okay. have to find Nathan's room. Okay, let's find the one with the golden door. The Vortex Club sucks ass. Love, Evan. Okay, so that's not... Ooh, Kate, super max. In case you still need it, Nathan's room number is 111. Kate, you're so awesome. Thank you. I love it. You bring out the rebel in me. You are rebel. Trust me. Always. And please be careful. Oh, of course. I'll keep you posted. I know you will. Okay. Let's go to Nathan's room. What? Oh. That, because that works. Yeah. Okay, maybe I should rewind. Uh... Now I need to find Nathan's phone. Or anything with clues. I'm just gonna rewind so that me doing that isn't a thing. MP3. Whale songs? Maybe this is the only soothing thing Nathan ever hears. Wow. Okay. Um, the drawer? That is so Chloe. Hey asshole, we need to talk or I'm going to tell everybody what you did and you're going to pay, motherfucker. Oh my god. Chloe. Oh, Chloe. Can we keep that? Hello? I'd like to keep that. Thanks. That's evidence. Why can't I ke keep that? Nathan clearly has his fetish down. Yeah. That's so cute and ironic. I Best can't son in the world. Still has oh, it that's kind of cute, actually. Okay. That monochrome camera is brand new and costs about six grand. Wow. Bastard. I thought Victoria had the photo bling, but once again, the Prescott's room. I don't think this prescription has helped Nathan. Hmm. Please. I'd cry too if I had him for a father and had to wear that suit. <laughs> That's kind of cute. Nathan is way into this party. All right. Nathan That's Prescott to Victoria Chase. Hey, gorgeous. Let me know what you're wearing to the Vortex this week so I can wear something just styling and expensive. I'm psyched about going and I'm picking up some serious potty favors. I even told my dad to keep the pigs away from Blackwell so we can get wrecked without hassle. If we're going to have an end of the world theme, let's do it fucking on point, right? Oh, bastard. Now I remember why I hate you. And why Kate will get justice. Oh man. Sean Prescott might be Nathan's real problem. From Sean Prescott to Nathan Prescott. Nate, I know this has been a stressful week and your mother and I are here to talk if need be. Just make an appointment anytime. Your mother wants Dr. Bill to come out after his book tour, but for now, let's stick to your prescriptions. I need you calm and quiet while Panestates is being developed. I know being a Prescott is a burden and I'll guide you into this room step by step as did my father. Hmm. It was hard for me when my dad opened my eyes to our destiny, but you'll thank me someday. Don't worry about Blackwell. This shithole town is going to get an enema along with a fresh brand. I want you to be ready to take over when the moment is right. Don't fuck it up, son. Your father. Ooh, that's a lot of pressure. Okay. Too bad Nathan isn't more like his sister. She sounds awesome. Okay, so this is Nathan's and sister. To do bem from Brazil! Okay, I'm not gonna read it like that. Um, it's been too long since I've heard from you, so please let me know what's going on in your exciting, scholastic life at Blackwell. I bragged to all my co-workers in the Peace Corps that my talented bro Nate got a full scholarship to one of the best art schools in the world. Even though I can't always check my mail or phone, please, please, please send me some new photos of campus so I can live vicariously through your lens. I miss you and your pictures. And yes, mother told me you've been in trouble and father has been on your ass. But you have to either ignore him or stand up to him. You know I love Dad, Nate, but I'm also in a jungle halfway across the world because of him. He's a bully who inherited power, not wisdom, and the only way to win against one is to fight back. Don't let him change you into one just for the family legacy. End of lecture. You're at school, so I just wanted to make sure you feel at home. Back to the mangrove. 
Sending out good thoughts. Better write back or I'll have a jaguar stripped to your dorm. Okay. So his sister seems to really care about him and think that his dad is a bully. And uh, she's in Brazil, even though she doesn't want to be because of the dad. And he's, he's got to stand up to his father. And she seems like a nice girl, Chris, Christine. Kiss ass much, Principal Wells. Principal Wells to Nathan Prescott. Nathan, I'd like to apologize for the recent accusation. Your name and record speaks for itself. Sometimes students will just use that to make their own name at Blackwell. I know that your father was upset while I assured him that you would never bring a weapon to school. I don't want you distracted from school and I'm certain this matter will be settled by the end of the week. If you have any questions, you know I'm always available to talk. Wow, what a dick. Holy shit. That's the gun Nathan used on Chloe. A gift from- Okay, this is like- this room is just crawling with evidence, like, how, and it won't Nathan let me take any of it. tortured subjects way too much. He has everything in here, except pe- These films all have a dark pattern. Hmm. Oh, man. That dickhead stole one of my selfies. Ew. Nathan Ooh. Prescott. All-American teen. Oh. Brand new shoot. What the hell are all those marks on the floor? Ugh. Disgusting. Let's find out what you're hiding. I think we already found a lot of stuff that he's hiding. Oh yes, little phone. You are mine now. Why are we just taking the phone? I want more. Yeah, I have Nathan's phone so I can show it to Chloe. Well, before Nathan comes back. Let's go. Let's get out of this guy's dorm. I do not want anyone seeing me here. Come on, Chloe, let's go. Damn, Max, you're finally back. I got worried. So what did you find? His room was clean and creepy. Check this out. Boom, Nathan. We got you by the balls, fucker. <laughs> what are you doing in my dorm? <laughs> He's like Donald Trump. You're such a nosy bitch, Max. Stop right there, Nathan. Make me ho. <clears throat> Max, I got this. Oh, Get the Warren. fuck out of my face. <laughs> Good moves, Warren. You are so fucking dead. <sighs> Get off me, bro! Oh. I'm just gonna stay out of this and watch. You like to hurt people, huh? Like Max? Like Kate? Like me? Huh? Feel this, motherfucker! This is nice. Wow, he's really feeding him. Okay, that's enough. Okay, maybe I should rewind. I don't know if this is right. Please stop. I mean, obviously it's not right, but I, I feel like we'll get caught. That's the only. That's my only Come concern on. at this point. Stop. Sorry. Yes, we have to go. Who's the bitch now? Chloe. Damn, Warren went full alpha on Nathan, and it was good. Ah, I don't know but what to do. Scary. Uh, it really hurts, yeah. You never got your ass kicked before, have you? Have you? Welcome to, uh, I don't know, the jungle, I suppose. All right, let's, uh, let's stop Warren and see how this goes. Warren, stop it. Come on. Oh, oh, my head. Why y'all looking at me like that, huh? You and you, you're all dead. Let's go, now. Plus, my dad is on his way. You're all fucked, he owns you. I'm gonna leave him beat up. Even if Nathan definitely deserved a beating, we should try to be better than that. I don't know. He drugged Kate, almost induced suicide by Kate. He punched Warren in the face, he shot Chloe before I rewinded it, he drugged Chloe, he probably did horrible things to Chloe while she wasn't awake. I'm gonna let him get his ass kicked for once in his goddamn life. 
I'm not saying it's the right thing to do. I'm just saying that I liked how he had no confidence after he got beaten up. Whereas, like, when he didn't really get beaten up, he was threatening me and stuff, so. Yeah, just a, I'm just gonna do my own little justice right now. I'm gonna stay out of it. Boom! See ya later, I'm getting out of here. That is a choice, I made it, I'm done. I don't care what happens. Maybe I do, I don't know. We'll see. In the other case, he took his gun, right. whereas Chloe has his gun now, I like that decision. Thank so. you so much. For what? For beating the shit out of Nathan Prescott? Dude, you rule. I don't know. I kind of went crazy there. Oh, Warren, you're a little beast like inside. You're not anything like him. Good to know. So where are you going? I better stick with you guys. Just in case you need me to get my Hulk on again. Or should I call the cops on Nathan? No police. Not yet. Uh, so maybe you better, um... Warren, me and Max have to do this on our own. No offense. Oh, why? It's cool. Whatever I can do to help. What you can do is find out anything you can about Nathan's father. I'm on it. Between the snow and eclipse, I'm assuming the apocalypse is around the corner. And thank you. Seriously. I'll call you later. You better. I'm feeling pretty alpha. Good. You yes. are alpha. You are. So cute. I wonder why he couldn't come with us. Man, that guy is so fucking in love with you. I know. He really did give a serious beat down to Nathan. It was a little scary to watch him do that. No, it wasn't. Now let's make a date with Frank. We all liked it in Are a very Nathan? sad and morbid and awful and not right way. Frank always answers when he wants money. Like I said, Frank wants to see me right now. Let's not keep him waiting. Oh, this is gonna be a whole new can of worms. Maybe we should have brought Warren with us, but Chloe has a gun now. Chloe's got a gun. Cause Frank stole our gun, but we stole Prescott's gun. This is good. It's good that we let the guy beat up the other guy, okay? I'm like, keep trying to justify it, but if it was the other way around, we wouldn't have a gun. So we're good, right? We cool? Nice. I'm going to end here just because I've been filming for two and a half hours and I want to get this out quicker for you guys So I hope you guys enjoyed this video If you did, please give it one of these and make sure you subscribe to get that glowy subscribe button A bit of a pick-me-up. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye